Hello and welcome to the first ever Ride Music UK freshman list. So basically what I'm doing is ripping off the double XL freshman list format, which you might be familiar with from the magazine. So I'm going to pick a handful of artists that I've liked in 2020 that I've been inspired by and ones that I think are primed for a big 2021. There's a good mix of styles on this list, so I'm sure there'll be something for everyone. Like the double XL list, I'll be picking 12 or 13 up and coming artists, telling you a bit about them, where they're from, and basically why you should listen to them. Now, I know what you're gonna be saying, double XL magazine normally puts out their list mid-year, but I think that's too easy. I'd rather pick the artists at the end of a year and then kind of back them going into 2021, going into the next year, so then you can come back and go, oh well, you know, this person didn't live up to your expectations, or this person did. And it means that you lot as well can start watching these artists right from the beginning of the year, see how they get on, and yeah, I think it's a better way of doing it. Right, so before we get into the list, I want you to stop and drop your list of artists in the comments right now. So either predict who's gonna be on this list, or just tell me your list of up and coming artists from the UK, or otherwise that you think are set for a big 2021. I'd love to jump down and listen to them all as well, so drop your list below, I'll listen to them, reply to you, tell you what I think. The artist can be big or small, just whoever inspires you, let me know and I'll give them a listen. So let's crack on with the list. Uh, let me stop this talking, my times I could have been balling. Me and L's lost so much cash that I can't look back cause I might start balling. And if one doesn't feel your vibe and it's heads and arms, I ain't talking morning. I just met this chick last night, she's boring, better be gone by morning. Stalling. You know I had to include a few artists from my city on the list because we've got a lot of overlooked talent and they're ready to put Newcastle on the map. And in 2020, Simba Shaw has been trying his best to do just that. His breakout single, Exposing Me, hit over a million streams before the end of the year. The only rapper from Newcastle I know that's ever achieved that. If you like a bit of drill mixed with classic UK rap vibes, then Simba's your guy. He's got a few singles under his belt already, and I know he's working hard in 2021 to bring you even more. I think it's just the beginning for him. It's impossible to ignore the presence of Drill in the UK music scene and Central C is the name leading the next wave. C has been putting in work for a good few years now, even appearing on AJ Tracy's Spirit Bomb remix in 2016. But 2020 really saw him hit his stride. His singles Day in the Life, Molly and Loden were absolutely on fire, amassing over 25 million streams combined on Spotify. As far as I know, C has managed to do this all independently and that's a crazy feat. 2021 is only going to get bigger for this insanely talented spitter. Winner of the Rap Game UK Series 2, Leeds native Graft was a must include on this list. Graft won over the hearts and minds of anyone that watched this year's series. He's an inspiring character and a fantastic rapper to match. He's got a one record deal with Crepin Conan's Play Dirty label to really kick off his career and get 2021 rolling. I mean, I, I think the sky's the limit for Graft. If you want to find out more about Graft, I'll link my interview with him that I did recently now. And also, if you want to watch the Rap Game UK series 2, I've got a full reaction series. I'll link that here as well. Come watch it with me. It was fun. It was a good laugh. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Henshaw is a fiery young rapper from Camden that's been turning heads in the underground scene with these emotionally raw tracks and ability behind the mic. He's released dark drill inspired tracks and hard hitting trap metal cuts with his collective Love Sept alongside Bad Lad. Henny might be one for the alternative rap fans among you. He's got that old school British punk attitude with a modern edge, it's kind of big slow tie energy really. Check him out before he blows in 2021. Girls in my area cold, dark skin, light skin, medium tongues, pumping braids, got mini afros, thick lips, got hips, some of us don't. She only dropped her first official single in 2020, but after you hear any, you'll be wishing she picked up a mic a lot sooner. A fantastic rapper with hard hitting bars, as well as a beautifully smooth singing voice, Eni has bags of talent. Like many others, I discovered Eni after her third single, Peng Black Girls. Originally featuring Amina Brave, this bounty track is full of uplifted messages of black empowerment and it'll really put a spring in your step anytime you're listening to it. When Georgia Smith heard the song, she loved it so much that she had to jump on a remix, bringing even more attention to this stellar track. All in all, the track has amassed well over 2 million streams and has set any up for an incredible 2021. She's next up without a doubt. I'm from a land where the bridges, they stand as reminders that we are united. Look at my town, tough it around, but the story will spread on the spider. We look to the sky. 
Another talented artist representing the tune, Saga Boy is bringing his own flavour to the UK scene. He's been putting in work for time in the northeast, but 2020 felt like the year Saga made a real breakthrough. His style mixes trap beats with straight bars and melodic auto-crooning vocals. You never quite know what he's going to come with, but it's always top quality. Saga's been prolific with singles in 2020, with Fountain, Brightside, Save Me and Being There all worth a listen. Saga's only going to go from strength to strength in 2021. Let's go. What you call it, drill? Fam, this one's called grime. What you call it, trap? Nah, I call it grime. What you call it, urban? Hell no, I call it grime. What you call it, fam? I fucking call it grime. There's been a lot of discussion in recent years about grime dying because there's not enough young talent to keep it alive. But there's one artist that's fighting tooth and nail to keep the genre alive, and that's Yeezy. The Lewisham Spitter has been putting bangers out for the last three years or so now, but his 2020 EP, Prince of Grime, feels like a step up to the next level of his career. Yizzy has bags and bags of talent behind the mic, a head spin and flow and incredible lyrical ability. But on this EP, he showed he could switch it up with a bit of melody and club-worthy hook writing too. Take Off Side, for example. This is Yizzy just proving not only can he rap better than your favourite rapper, he can sing better than your favourite R&B heartthrob too. I think Yizzy can achieve anything he puts his mind to, and we haven't even seen him at his best yet. 2021's gonna be massive. Guys are telling lies, I'm losing trust now. Everybody bragging about their money, you're their bust down. Had to cross the line and go and make another touchdown. Dima popped up in my Spotify recommendations through his 2019 collab track Maddie with Kish, and I was impressed. The track was so slick and had this jovial old school storytelling vibe. So I looked into him a bit further and found his 2020 EP, Chew Your Food, and I was blown away. It was so unpredictable and kept you locked in through the seven track runtime. Dima is alternative UK rapper at its best. His beats are always on the right side of experimental and his flows are guaranteed to get your head bopping. I reckon this guy is going to be huge. Don't sleep on Dima in 2021. Why these brothers hating far? Made money two step, then I made some more. Your G's cranking off, chilling there with no zoo. I know you used to see me pedal shifting, took my own room. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't comfy in this life, so I started trapping. After the rise of Bugsy Malone and H, everyone's eyes are on Manchester to produce the next big thing in the UK. And Zeph might just be that guy. He's got a measured flow and hard hitting gritty delivery that gives me the classic UK rap vibes. Real nines and gig sort of stuff. Zeph's 2020 EP, Initiation, is a solid project that really deserves much more attention. The guy's a natural talent and with a bit more time he could be the next big name coming out of money. It's his time to level up in 2021. The third and final artist on this list from the great city of Newcastle upon Tyne, NEO is a student of grime with the ability to put northeast grime on the map. He made his name in the region as a part of the NE Dons duo with fellow MC Castle. His move into doing more solo tracks has really highlighted the insane energy NEO has. He's one of the most passionate and determined artists I've ever met, and you can hear that in the music. His delivery is always so intense, and in live sets it just rocks the room and, and fills it with energy so easily. He's recently been trying his hand at some new styles, and I think 2021 will be another opportunity for him to evolve and take his music to the next level again. Can't take the gas off throttle, I just push and go Could never seat me with the average, I'm a different zone When I was yearning on my back, I got it on my own When I was fighting all my demons, did you care to know? A standout artist from the Rap Game UK Series 2 who was unlucky to win it Zone showed just how talented she was across the six episodes of that show She brings that real street energy on tracks that people love to hear She's just so cold when she gets into it and into the zone, no pun intended I think the time is now for Zones to capitalise on the extra eyes watching her off the back of the TV show and really put the work in. We've all seen the potential there and now it's time to really put that potential to work. There's definitely a spot waiting for Zones at the top of the UK scene, she just needs to find a way up there. And I think she will. I know how it feels when it's tough. We're just trying to see our people grow. Feels like more time you get it on your own. When we vibe, we have to keep it on and need to know. Car. People in your business, they don't really need to know. 
pivotal member of the exciting UK hip hop collective House of Pharaohs, Sam Y stands out as one of the most promising solo prospects from the group. His 2019 debut album, Sorry You Were Saying, was one of my favourite projects from that year. It showcased Sam's range and his ability to switch up his sound on you with finesse. He can rap, he can write, he can sing, he clearly has an eye for production. Sam is the full package. He had some sick singles in 2020, including the incredible collab track Haze with cult UK rapper Jesse James Solomon. The pair captured this amazingly chill vibe that racked them up over 2.5 million streams this year. Keep an eye on Sam in 2021. I think he'll blow up. Yeah, yeah. Nah, they don't even know how far I'm willing to go. Build the brunt of a lot of pain, gotta let it go. Heart and a figure four, and I only let it show when I talk to microphones, bury that up in my soul. Now, before all you Shogun stands go mad in the comments telling me that Shogun's been putting in work for time, I know. Shogun single handedly put Scotland on the rap map in 2017 with his viral hit Vulcan, but in my opinion, he's yet to fulfill his true potential. And again, after being a standout artist in the Rap Game UK Series 2, Shogun's going to have more eyes on him than ever in 2021. So the ball is in his court to really take that opportunity, capitalise on that popularity and really push his career from local hero to national treasure. Shogun, if you're watching this, you know you can do it, bro. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that list and I hope you'll go listen to some of those artists. I'll leave all the links in the description so you can just drop down, click on the links and stream the track straight away. Again, if there's anyone you think I missed, jump in the comments, let me know, give me your own list and I will listen to it, all of them, and I'll reply and let you know what I thought of the tracks. Let me know who you think I should be keeping an eye on in 2021. Who should I be featuring? Who should I be reviewing? Who should I be talking to? As always, if you like the video, please hit subscribe. It means an awful lot to me and I'd love to hit 3k subscribers very soon. It means I can keep making content like this and it just inspires me to keep going really and it's free, so just hit that button if you haven't already. Obviously, this is going to be my last video in 2020, but I'm going to be back bigger and better in 2021. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I've got a lot of good stuff planned for you lot next year. So stay tuned in and see how we can take this channel to the next level. Finally, I just want to thank you all for watching my videos this year and supporting me in any sort of way. If you subscribed, comment, liked it, it's amazing. Thank you so much. It's been incredible. And to be honest, the support and the views and the subscribers, it's really kind of put a smile on my face for what's been a rough 2020 for everyone. Uh, it's kind of turned it around for me and gave me something to look forward to. I look forward to sitting down and doing these videos and it kind of, yeah, it brought something positive to the end of 2020 and that's all down to you. So thank you so much. If you get a minute, follow me on Instagram. I'll be putting stories up. I'm going to be doing lots of exciting stuff and you can see it first on the stories. So follow me there. You can DM me if you want. I'm always up for a chat. And until next time, until next year, have a happy new year and I'll see you in 2021. Goodbye.